Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Let's all begin our Eucharistic celebration. Do not leave me to the will of my foes, O Lord, for false witnesses rise up against me, and they breathe out violence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we are gathered as the friends of Jesus to partake of this meal of his love and fidelity. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass. Let us be sorry for the many times that we have not been faithful to him. Let us beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant us so to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion that we may merit to receive your pardon through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O islands, listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth, from my mother's womb, 
He gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of His arm. He made me a polished arrow. In His quiver, He hid me. You are my servant, He said to me. Israel, to whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing uselessly spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord. My recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as a servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him, and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing of your salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing of your salvation. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, from my mute. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb, you are my strength. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth. Until the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing of your salvation. Hail to you, our King, obedient to the Father. You were led to your crucifixion like a gentle lamb to the slaughter. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Reclining at table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified, Amen, amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another at a loss as to whom he meant. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it. So he dipped the morsel and took it and handed to Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot. After Judas took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, what you are going to do, do quickly. Now none of those reclining at table realized why he said this to him. Some thought that since Judas kept the money bag, Jesus had told him, buy what we need for the feast, 
or to give something to the poor. So Judas took the morsel and left at once, and it was night. When he had left, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me as I told the Jews. Where I go, you cannot come. So now I say it to you. Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, Where I am going, you cannot follow now, though you will follow later. Peter said to him, Master, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you, the cock will not crow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, our first reading on this Tuesday of the Holy Week continues the discourse from the prophet Isaiah about the suffering servant of God. And in that section, of our first reading today, we heard that although the suffering servant has faithfully labored for the Lord, it seems that all his labors are in vain. The suffering servant said, though I thought I had toiled in vain, and for nothing uselessly spent my strength. Ginagawa niya ang kalooban ng Diyos, nauubos ang kanyang lakas, ibinibigay niya ang kanyang buong sarili para sa kalooban ng Diyos, pero parang wala namang nangyayari, walang nagiging bunga, Parang nabibigo siya sa kanyang ginagawa. He feels as though he was a failure in doing the mission of the Lord. And this same kind of failure could be sensed in our gospel today. The context of our gospel today is the last supper of Jesus with his disciples. And in the context of the last supper, Jesus tells of the betrayal of Judas and the denial of Peter. Itatatwa siya ni Judas at itatanggi siya ni Pedro. Come to think of it, my dear brothers and sisters, these disciples followed Jesus for almost three years. They have heard everything that Jesus taught. They have seen everything that Jesus did. They have witnessed the life of Jesus, even the life that was not visible to many, they were privileged to know more deeply who Jesus is 
And yet, everything seems to be in vain because they still betrayed and denied Jesus. They left Jesus alone. Kahit na narinig nila ang lahat ng turo ni Jesus, kahit na naging saksi sila sa lahat ng ginawa ni Jesus, parang walang epekto sa kanila, parang hindi nagbago, parang sa kanyang sariling mga alagad mismo, hindi nagtagumpay si Jesus. Nasayang yata ang kanyang pagtuturo dahil yung kanyang sariling mga alagad pa ang magtatakwil at magtatanggi sa kanya. That is why when Judas left, the Gospel of St. John explicitly says, It was night. Gabi na. It was night not only because the sun had already set, it was night because of the betrayal that is about to happen. It was night, it was dark, because of the denial of Peter that is about to happen. It was dark, it was night, because of the abandonment of his friends who were eating at table with him that night. It was night even in the heart of Jesus because of sadness and sorrow of what will happen. My dear brothers and sisters, I am sure we have all experienced this kind of darkness. Lahat tayo nakaranas na ng ganitong pagkabigo. Those moments when we feel that even though we had given our best, our best seems not yet enough. Ibinigay mo ng lahat, ibinigay mo ang lahat ng iyong makakaya, Ginawa mo na ang lahat ng iyong magagawa, pero parang wala pa rin nangyayari. Walang kabutihan at tagumpay na nangyayari. Maraming pagkakataon naranasan natin ito. We feel that all our efforts are in vain. Lahat naman ginawa ko na, pero bakit wala pa rin mabuting bunga? My dear brothers and sisters, when we experience this, let us remember what Jesus did. It was during that dark night that Jesus talked of God's glory. If you listen well to the gospel, you would see that after Judas left, Jesus spoke of God's glory. Nung umalis si Judas, pwedeng-pwede sanang sabihin ni Jesus o oh, umalis na ang taksil. Pwedeng-pwede sigurong sabihin ni Jesus ang paninisi kay Judas at sa kanyang mga alagad. But at that moment of darkness, Jesus spoke of the light of God's glory. At that moment when everything seems to be a failure, Jesus speaks of God's triumph and glory. My dear brothers and sisters, it is said that during the darkest night, the, sh the stars shine the brightest. Kapag madilim na madilim ang gabi, doon natin nakikita ang liwanag ng mga tala. And so if you are experiencing a long dark night, do not despair. Just be patient. Just wait. Because you might already be at the threshold of glory. Let us humbly present our petitions before our Lord, 
always remembering the sufferings He endured in order to make salvation possible for us. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who feel betrayed by friends may avoid bitterness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That sinners may not be discouraged, but seek forgiveness in the sacrament of reconciliation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who suffer may find the strength to bear their burdens, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may unite their sufferings with Christ and be filled with inner peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may be given a place in the heavenly kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. God our Father, in your wisdom, you permitted your only Son to suffer for us. Through the Spirit, draw us closer to you, that we may express our devout, devout gratitude through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look favorably, O Lord, we pray on these offerings of your family. And to those you make partakers of these sacred gifts, Grant a share in their fullness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of His saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through Him the host of angels adores Your Majesty, and rejoices in Your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs, in one chorus of exultant praise, as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. 
He Himself is the Word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with this very Spirit who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May He make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may He keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and Broderick our Administrator and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us ask the Father to forgive our sins and to bring us to forgive those who sin against us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But, but only say, say the, the word, word, and, and my, my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you have fed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. For our schedule for the Holy Week services here at the Manila Cathedral, you may go to our Facebook page so that you may always be informed of our services starting tomorrow until Easter Sunday. Nasa Facebook page na po natin ang mga schedule ng ating mga online celebrations simula bukas. And we specially invite you to watch uh, our documentaries that will be shown this week uh, in different channels at the television. Uh, ang ating pun documentary about the Manila Cathedral, no, inang simbahan, ang kwento ng Manila Cathedral, at lalung lalun na po ang uh, documentary na pinamagatang fiesta, ang mga pagdiriwang ng ating pananampalataya produced by the Jesuit Communications in cooperation with the Manila Cathedral. Ito po ay palalabas sa Holy Saturday, 10.30 uh, in the evening sa GMA 7. Ito po ay isang napakagandang documentary tungkol sa iba't ibang piyesta, iba't ibang pagdiriwang sa iba't ibang bahagi ng Pilipinas. 
angkop na angkop sa ating pagdiriwang ng 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines. Kaya sana po ay makasama namin kayo sa mga pagdiriwang ngayong mga mahal na araw sa ating pagninilay at pagdiriwang ng pagpapakasakit, pagkamatay at muling pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoon. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May your mercy, O God, cleanse the people that are subject to you from all seduction of former ways and make them capable of new holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Let us now pray to our Blessed Virgin Mary and ask for her maternal intercession. Hail Mary, full of grace, the, the Lord, Lord is with you. you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 